Well, good morning, TOW. It's so good to see you. And uh, a warm welcome to all of you who are joining us for our morning's devotion. And the title of my sharing today is Keep Keeping at It, Holding Fast to the Lord. And this morning's scripture text is taken from Joshua 23, verses 6 to 10. And it goes like this. Be very strong, be careful to obey all that is written in the book of the law of Moses without turning aside to the right or to the left. Do not associate with these nations that remain among you. Do not invoke the names of their gods or swear by them. You must not serve them or bow down to them. But you are to hold fast to the Lord your God as you have until now. The Lord has driven out before you great and powerful nations to this day. No one has been able to withstand you. One of you routes a thousand because of the Lord your God fights for you, just as He promised. So be very careful to love the Lord your God. Now, this text that we've just read before, doesn't it all sound too familiar? Well, you're probably right because it also comes from Joshua 1 verse 8. We all know that verse, okay? And this promise was given to God, to Joshua, uh, from God to Joshua back then at the beginning, at the prime time of his ministry, when uh, Joshua is about to take over and lead the people of Israel to the promised land. And guess what? This text that we just read is the same scripture that Joshua gave and it was at the, almost at its end of his life and ministry. So you know what this tells us? Uh, if we want to go the long haul, if we want to stay resilient, staying being strong in the Lord, we want to keep loving the Lord, then we better follow through His instructions and do what He calls us to do. Alright, now firstly, what He says again, He says, firstly, be very strong. Be strong in the Lord. How can we be strong? Obey all that is written in the book of the law, right? That's what he says, without turning to the right or left. So friends, you and I, if we want to be strong, stay strong, not being easily weakened by all sorts of things in our life, then we've got to hold on to God's word and let it breathe life and uh, wisdom into us. That simply means a regular Sunday sermon alone will not cut it. We won't cut it. Uh, we heard before, right? An apple a day keeps the doctor away. So what? An apple a week? It will not cut it. Joshua knew that all his life, he has struggles. And, uh, and he, but his purpose was to be a warrior. Right? And uh, so he was given the mandate to fight and fight battles after battles. Uh, and just, for the, just to get to attain the promised land. And boy, you know, it was a long one. Uh, conquering lands after lands. I mean, these battles were not uh, overnight. It was for many years till his hair actually turned grey. Now, it is the same for us Some, when speaking about battles. I consider all our work of life. Uh, we also go through, uh, life is like a battle, yeah? Some of us have been much forward ahead, uh, midlife, 40s, 50s, 60s, right? Uh, well, some of us, maybe we are just at the beginning, okay? But it really doesn't matter what age we are at. Now, because what really matters, the fact is, are we reading, are we feeding on God's Word? Are we living out God's Word in our life? Now, Joshua, that's what he did. He, de he did that throughout his entire lifetime. You want to stay strong and healthy? Well, we've got to keep eating the right food, isn't it? However, if you want to stay strong and have strong spiritual muscles, then we've got to bulk ourselves up with God's Word. Now, secondly, Joshua knew that if he was going to fulfill God's purpose for his entire life, doing battles, right, all the way to the end, then deviating from God's instruction, it's not an option, okay? It's not an option. Hold fast. Secondly, my same one that I would say is hold fast to God. He says in verse 8, 
but you are to hold fast to the Lord your God as you have until now. Yes, Joshua had been holding fast to the Lord all the way to his life. Okay? And uh, so, in, we have battles many times, you know, there are tough times, and our battles, especially right now, in, during times of pandemic, is getting tougher by the day. We too have our fair share in compared to Joshua's time. So, uh, to keep things going and to keep it up, you know, sometimes we do get tired, right? And sometimes we may be tempted to give in and give up. But one thing we can learn from Joshua's spirit, huh? what kept Joshua going? Well, he was not easily distracted. He did not turn to the right or to the left. He did exactly what God told him to. Uh, it was years and years of training and discipline he developed, right? Mind you, he has always been a frontliner. I mean, today we know who are the frontliners are, right? But Joshua back then, he was also a frontliner himself. He was at the battle front, yeah? You could imagine Joshua leading, guiding, constantly cheering the team, constantly encouraging others, uh, despite all the complaints and the murmur that, ch- that he had to endure from the children of Israel. Huh? And uh, likewise, sometimes we too, when we are leading and we are also encouraging others, but sometimes all our energies can be easily sapped huh? uh, when, and depleted when we are at the forefront of serving and doing all that we need to do, whether it's in the marketplace. All right? Now, Joshua knew if he had to go and run far, He needed to keep renewing and refocus his energies and constantly draw strength from the Word of God. He had to hold fast onto God for the long haul. I'm sure we've all been there. So what keeps us going at the end of the day? We've probably tried um, motivational books, positive sayings, quotes that we like to post on FB, right? Well, surely nothing wrong with all those things. But still, if you're not drawing from the source, if you're not drawing from the living bread and the living water, Jesus, we will soon find out that we are running out. And when we run on empty tank, friends, you and I know, it's going to be an uphill task. So, how are you? Are you feeling that you're running on an empty tank? Well, we've got to keep at it. We've got to keep at His word. Keep running into His presence, hang on tightly to the Lord, and don't stop. Now lastly, I love this promise, especially for those who keep uh, at the Lord's word, for those who keep holding on, holding fast unto the Lord all the way to the end. Verse 9, this is what it says, right? The Lord has driven out before you great and powerful nations to this day. No one had been able to withstand you. One of you routs a thousand because the Lord your God fights for you just as He promised. So be careful to love the Lord your God. Wow! Friends, the Lord never fails and He always proves Himself to be faithful. Amen? Uh, Perhaps uh, you may have felt that you've been driven to a corner with no way out. Uh, Well, be encouraged, my dear fellow brothers and sisters. Yes, Again and again, while we are just like pilgrims, we are nomads on this earth and uh, we are always in the midst of battles. But as a believer, remember, we do not wage this war on ourselves. We do not wage alone. In fact, that's exactly what the Word of God says. Just one of us, just one can send a thousand enemies fleeing. Amen. Amen. Well, the battles, battles are a part of life, right? It's part of what we have to go through. We don't really have a choice. Then, but all I can say is this, this is the kind of battle I'm glad and I want to be a part of. I don't know about you, but that's what I want to be. You know why? Because God fights for us. He says that no one will be able to withstand against you. You know what that means? It's a sure win. We all folks like to say, win now, okay? Win now for us and gg.com for the enemy. Amen. It is not one, but a thousand. 
And that's how the, uh, the psalmist expressed exactly in Psalms 91 verse 7. Remember, he says, A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near to you. And I want to believe that for you and for us, okay? Yes, indeed, uh, times that you and I, we may feel that it's so difficult to pull through. But remember, when God is on our side, nothing is ever going to be too hard for the Lord. Amen. So my encouragement for you today is to continue to press on, hang on, keep at it, keep loving the Lord, hold fast to His Word. Okay? Because remember, in due season, we will indeed reap a harvest. And in not just harvest, it is we will keep on winning battles after battles. Because remember, it's not ours alone. Battle is the Lord's. Amen? Alright, God bless you and you have a wonderful day.